Want to have a chat while I'm here? How are you doing? How are you, brother? I'm well, thank brother you. How are you? Nice, Peace be with you, brother. Thanks for all the work you're doing. No worries. Awesome. I watch you from Trinidad. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Got a lot of brothers there. But um, I wanted to ask you, um, I, I watched many of your videos. I, I wanted to ask you, have you ever um, used Zoe Life as a way to show Sorry? Zoe Life? I know you know the word. Wisdom. Uh, Zoe. Zoe Life. The, 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 you know, in, in, in him was this life. Life like Zoe life. as in the Greek term for life? Yes, yeah, the right, eternal go on. life. Yeah. Have you ever used that to show the connection between the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? I, I, I feel like that you want to make a point here. Oh, no, no. Um, no. no. I'm asking, have you, have you um, ever done that? Um, I mean, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in an indirect way, yeah, many times. Because obviously, uh, you know, we as Christians believe that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit yeah. have the same will, mm -hmm. have the same energy, yeah. have the same activity. And so they are sharing this common life, life yes, yes. that they, they have a singular life. Yes. So, it, yeah, uh, but not, not as directly as you're now asking me. No, okay. I haven't yeah. done it that directly. You think that would kind of go over their head? You know? No, no, not at all. I'm sure lots of people would get it, actually. Okay. You know, it's just one of many ways to demonstrate that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are one yes. and, and, and indivisible. Okay, yeah. Yeah, my father is saying that, that might be a good way to... No, it's create a good, a good anything that shows the unity of the persons. But we've got to be clear that when we're saying that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit have the same will, mm -hmm. the same life, the same energy, yeah. the same activity, that, that there's, there's two things we need to draw out of that. One is the economy of the Trinity. So even though they have the same will, mm -hmm. they live that will out in different ways. Yeah. So for instance, the Father commands creation, the Son creates, and the Holy Spirit gives life. But the act of creation is not fulfilled or completed until the Holy Spirit has given it life. Yeah? Uh, the Father commands man's redemption, the Son saves, and then the Holy Spirit sanctifies. But our, our redemption, is, our salvation is not complete until our full sanctification, which is done through the Holy Spirit. Um, and so we've got to understand that there's an economia. Um, and the, the, you know, like, uh, and, and so we see a difference in, in how the, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit live out that life or do that act or enact that will. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It does, it does. Okay. Yeah. No, I was like, because a lot of Christians, when they read that word, that word life in the Bible, they don't realize the, the different meanings. Yeah. Well, the, the, the word life depends upon the context, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, if it's talking about the life of Father, Son and Holy Spirit, then obviously it's divine life. It's talking yeah. about our life, then it's not necessarily divine yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then one other question I have for you. Um, I was looking at uh, something talking about creation. Um, and well, it basically what it does explain is that um, the oldest living tree is 4,853, 4,855 years, and then you take yeah. that back, that actually matches up with the flood. Yeah. And then from there you can go back to about 6,000 years. I know, I know people debate on the age of things. I was wondering what you thought about that. I don't think that that's evidence of the flood. Okay. And I don't think that that's evidence of a young earth. Okay. It's just evidence of a very old tree. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, <laughs> That's all seems, it is. Well, it just seems like, okay. And then another point that I made on, on just on the young creation, you were just saying that when you do the math, if you do the half percent of the population growth, you get, if you go from that, that, about that time, we get to the event. But if the earth was older, but but that's a sh that but the, the problem with that is you're assuming that human beings would have to have been there um, the whole time of a, an old earth creation, um, and you're not as even Genesis doesn't commit us to that belief because Genesis says that humanity was the last thing that God created or one of the last things. So that implies that there were another five days where humanity wasn't around. So. And actually, that kind of lines up with, with, you know, biology as we are encountering it, which is human beings are pretty recent yeah, on yeah. the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. But, okay. No, I just wanted to talk about that. Just in, in no worries. Because we were saying yeah. things would be older. But, uh, All right. Peace be with you, brother. Yes, Let me give you a card if you want to keep in touch. Yeah, please. Yeah, I'm just visiting for now. But yeah. Thank you very much. Hope you have a lovely stay. Right. God bless you. you. Take care. Anybody else want to have a chat or a talk before I go on to talk to someone else? I don't know. I just sometimes talk about... Uh,
Uh, yeah. Uh, I was really wondering the way that the system is currently set up with the King, Cottonwell, Hippie, and Stay, and the Church of England. Do you really actually genuinely see it as a possibility? That this of course. Is, yeah. Are Muslims standing up for themselves right now? Of course they are. Uh, right then, are they doing it under a King and a Commonwealth? Of course, of course they are. They're doing it under the same state we are. So if they can stand up for themselves, we can stand up for ourselves. Yeah. It's about Christians asserting their rights. Uh, the, or their, their rights and making sure that if they are seeing an inequality or a mistreatment under law, that they're challenging it. Like we've got two-tier policing. Yes, the only reason why we've got two-tier policing is because everybody grumbles about it, but no one's taking the police to court. No one's... Like, no one's, no one's challenging the police through politics, through going to the police commissioner meetings and challenging the Lord, the mayors and, and challenging them on police thinking, uh, two-tier policing. The problem with a lot of people in our country who are tapping into the message that I'm saying is they just want to do anger, right? They don't want to do smart. You've got to box smart if you want to win. The, the Jewish community, the Jewish community know how to trigger the police to respect because they say look you're, you're being anti-semitic or you're, you're facilitating anti-semitism the muslim community are, are trying the same trick right we as christians need to be talking about christophobia we need to be challenging the police about the christophobia we need to be challenging the police about the christophobic attacks that are happening in this park nearly every week all right we need to be challenging the police about their two-tier policing of white working class communities. White working class communities need to talk about why the fact that as an economically downtrodden people, are they being bullied by the police when they're not doing anything different from what the Islamists are doing? The Islamists are doing their hate marches every Saturday and the police are just letting them do it. So why can't the white working class have a St. George march? and St. George Parade. Why the two-tier policing? You've got to challenge the police structurally, institutionally, using the systems of government. There's no point just getting angry and ranting on... Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, a lot, de a lot worse. Would that be the time for the uh, counterculture to work? No, the counterculture is now, bro. For, it's, not, it's not when the Labour government comes in. The Conservatives have been anti-Christian for the last 18 years. Why do we need the why, Christian parties? I would have said the Conservatives would be more. Yeah, they could have been. That's like asking yourself. That's like asking, uh, do you want to die by cyanide or by gunshot? Uh, right. Like, yeah, like the, like the, the Conservatives are just as bad as Labour. Right. Yes, things will be worse under Labour because Labour is much more committed to living out the full ideology of Western liberalism. But, the cons but make no mistake about it, the Conservatives are fully bought into Western liberalism. We need to reject Western liberalism if we want to develop our own sense of identity, our own sense of our culture, our own sense of uh, missionary purpose as the people of God here. I take it you're a Christian. Yeah, so, so we've, got, we've got to build ourselves differently by rejecting liberalism, and that also means by rejecting conservatism as well. Thank you for your time. What right. trains to catch? Can I right. catch? Yes, of course, definitely. Get in touch, bro. If yeah, you I want to. I spoke to Chris a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in touch.